Welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just simply log in to create credentials and once you're done with that, just simply come back over here, click on the checkbox and then click on agree and continue. Now just simply wait. Now here just simply search for the data store. Open this thing in new tab, come back over here. Wait for a second now. Now click on this create data set. Just simply click over here. And here you can see data store mode. Just simply click on this select data store mode. Now for here, just simply click over here, and from here, just simply choose a num5 and then click on this create data set. Now it will take a couple of seconds. Meanwhile, just me come back over here and click on the task number one. Now just simply scroll down and from the point number seven, you can see this name. Just simply copy this name like this way, come back over here, just simply wait for a couple of more seconds now. And it's done now just simply click on this create entity just simply click over here now here you can see kind just simply paste a name which you just copy like this way okay now i request you please pay attention while creating a property so first of all just simply copy this name like this way copy like this come back over here now here you can see add a property just simply click over here now for the name just simply paste a name over here like this way now for the type it's mentioned on the lab instruction page so it's string so for the value just simply copy this name carefully just simply copy like this come back over here now just simply paste a value over here like this way now here you can see for the index it's given as a cross so we are going to uncheck this checkbox just make sure that for the description make sure that we have to uncheck this checkbox now click on this done so we are done with the first property now again click on this add property again come back over here copy this name carefully copy like this come back over here just simply paste a name over here like this way now for this type it's mentioned on the lab instruction page it must be date and time so just simply click over here and from here just simply choose date and time like this this way now no need to make the changes in the value just simply make sure of all these things and then click on this done so we are done with the second property as well now copy the last just simply copy like this come back over here click over here now again just simply scroll down just simply paste a name over here like this way now for the type it's mentioned on the lab instruction page it must be boolean so just simply click over here and from here just simply choose a boolean like this way now for the value it must be false it's already given for us so we are not going to make any other changes now just simply click on this done and then click on this create now just simply wait for a couple of more seconds and it's done now if you just simply come back to the live instructions and click on this check member progress you will get a score without any issue just simply wait and watch and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys